International Criminal Court took the first step towards punishing Putin for crimes committed against Ukraine in March 2023. It issued an arrest warrant for the Russian president for the illegal deportation of Ukrainian children. Since then, Putin, even having received security guarantees from the leaders of some countries, has been afraid to leave Russian territory. In relation to children, this is the most obvious crime that lies on the surface. The mass deportation of children is expressly provided for as a violation of international humanitarian law. And on the part of Russia, this is not denied but rather emphasized. These are their actions which made it possible, of course, to issue an arrest warrant relatively easily. Traveling outside the Federation is a direct road for Putin to the bench trial because the International Criminal Court does not consider cases in absentia. In order to hold Russia's military political leadership to account, Ukraine and the world community continues to work on the creation of a new legal mechanism. According to Kyiv, it should be a special international tribunal for the crime of Russian aggression against Ukraine, or an international court under the jurisdiction of the Ukrainian judicial system. This option is being considered considered by some of Kiev's allies. Putin can be punished, he can be accused of a variety of crimes, war crimes, crimes against humanity, genocide, in addition to aggressive war, and we are constantly working on this together with our international partners. A lot of work is being done by us in our country, because we suffer from all this. It is in our country that the victims, the main evidence and the results of the crimes committed by Vladimir Putin's regime are located. The crime of aggression committed by the highest military political leadership of Russia is an obvious violation of international law and the UN Charter. However, aggression is not included in the list of the crimes that the International Criminal Court can consider. This is another reason why punishing Russia for starting the war requires new approaches. There is a discussion going on, but nevertheless, the movement in the direction of involvement is obvious. At the same time, an investigation is underway into various numerous violations of the rules of war, such as the killing of civilians in Bucha, such as forced mobilization in the occupied territories, such as elections in the occupied territories. This is all a violation of international humanitarian law. This is all collected, recorded and processes started. There are various injections into the body of the Russian Federation, they are being made. This is a warrant for his arrest, these are trials of war criminals, these are new investigations, some reports from research groups conducted on the genocide, on what is happening in Ukraine. A register of losses is being created in order to then look for opportunities for people to distribute, to receive Russian money, to distribute this money, that is, a variety of work is being being done. Punishing those responsible for the war against Ukraine and paying reparations are points in the peace formula of President Volodymyr Zelensky, reported by Roman Smoller, Larissa Zubenko, UATV News. <laughs>